Lot 4, Robert Hodgins, Plotting. Robert Hodgins made a series of etchings just before his death in 2010 for his last exhibition at Art on Paper in 2009. This is a sterling example of the work. One is intrigued by the huddling figures in the blue part of the coloured etchings, plotting, as the title indicates, not knowing that what they are doing can result in fireworks, as is evident in the bright red patch on the left-hand side. Lot 21, Bram Kruger, two etchings. Bram Kruger was commissioned to make 35 illustrations for the poetry anthology by Wessel Petorius called Laat nach Friese in Anderfersche. These etchings were never included in the poetry anthology and Bram Kruger in a half threw all the plates into a dam outside Stellenbosch. These, this, these etchings are very rare and they are highly collectible. Lot 154, Victor Passmore, Abstract Composition. Victor Passmore pioneered abstract art in Britain in the 1940s and 50s. He studied at the Central School of Art in London and his early work was very much figurative, shifting to abstraction in the late 1940s under the influence of Ben Nicholson. Lot 82, Pepper Scottness, Heidedal Gallien. Pepper Scottness is the custodian of the Wilhelm Bleak and Lucy Lloyd archive housed at the University of Cape Town. She often includes images from the archive that Bleak and Lloyd recorded of their contemporary Bushman artists in her own work, as is evident in this particular print. She also draws, of course, on the golden rhino from Mapungupwe right at the top of the work. Lot 11, Dumilefeni, Anguished Figure. Dumilefeni was one of the resistance artists working under apartheid. The example that you're looking at is called Anguished Figure and it graphically represents the suffering of the people under apartheid. Dumile left South Africa in 1968, first settling in London and then in the US from 1978. He died in 1991. Lot 231, Bronman Finley, Water Lilies. Bronman Finley was born in KwaZulu Natal and she studied in Durban, where she also had her first exhibition at the Walsh Gallery in 1977. She's inspired by nature, as is evident in this particular work and from her own garden. Uh, this work, Water Lilies, of course, reminds one very much of the famous series by the famous Impressionist artist Claude Monet.